My first impression of NSYSU was that the weather was absolutely glorious. It was wonderful. NSYSU must be the first and only university in Taiwan to have a beach on its campus. When I look out of my dorm window, every day I'm greeted by the boundless Taiwan Straits, and then I see the container ships passing in and out of Kaohsiung Harbor. I really think this is a great environment for studying. It's that simple. From the day I first stepped onto campus, I could sense the vastness of the place, and it really made me feel like my mind was open to anything. If you look around, it's a very, very beautiful school, this beach and all perfect, beautiful campus. And uh, all the people are very nice and combined with perfect education, and yeah, I think it's a perfect choice. I think that the biggest feeling we have living in Shitsuan is that we have a magnificent neighbor, the ocean. With the mountains behind us and the ocean in front of us, and with such a great university, we are really left with a feeling of being at peace while we study. National Sun Yat-sen University is currently a medium-sized research university focusing on both humanities and science and technology. The life force of humanities and the vitality of science and technology fill our campus. Developing your research alongside microelectromechanics, nanotechnology, or even nanoengineering is actually something we have already been doing, but I can't say whether we've been doing it well. But I hope that you'll give us a little more time. I believe that here we can reach a so-called second peak. This second peak will be no problem. Currently, we are leading the world with so-called broadband crystal fiber. I hope we can turn engineering art into engineering science. We hope to build on our strengths and specialties and turn the Center for Nanoscience into an international top-level research center so that our research here can also move towards leading the world. It is quite an important point that the NSYSU has always promoted research at close quarters, so we tried really hard between the National Science Council and the Ministry of Education to support us in the building of Ocean Researcher 3. So the development of Ocean Researcher 3 has played an important role in the areas of teaching and research. An important feature of the Institute of Marine Biology is that from the time the Institute was first being built, there was already a program of scuba diving training. Since then, many of our researchers have taken advantage of this in their research. So foreign professors like to work with a large number of our graduates. Why is that? because they have good scuba diving techniques and can very quickly carry out field work. NSYSU entered the field of mobile communication aerial design relatively early and its roots are now well established. And as for quality, we are certainly leading in this area of expertise compared with other schools in Taiwan. In these global times when graduates move into the job market, understanding of internationalization will give them an edge over others. So I always insist that our electronic commerce students take part in multinational online discussions. By using this system, they are forced to discuss things in English. In a very basic way, this also serves to increase the students' abilities on an international level. Our current research is concentrated in three main areas. The first area is electronic commerce. The second area is concerned with how to retain the important core knowledge of business management. The third area is what we're talking about now, how information technology can assist us in policy making. Given that we are conducting research into cancer, we've always hoped to be able to work on a truly clinical basis. Three major centers in the south, Kaohsiung Medical University, Changgung Hospital, and Kaohsiung's Veterans Hospital are all cooperating closely with us.
We certainly gained a lot from the recent competition in Paris. The three of us were really looking forward to the trip. Apart from interacting with the staff from the companies there, we also came across many people from all over the world. We got into the grand finals. Altogether, there were eight MBA teams and eight undergraduate teams from all over the world. And we were one of the eight MBA teams, so we really got to see world-class scholars. The special thing about NSYSU is that there aren't that many students, so everyone has access to relatively generous funds and resources. The second thing is that the teachers here encourage their students to go and have a try. Teachers from schools up north say that you can take part in competitions, but our teachers actively encourage us to take part. We may not be the most famous university in Taiwan, but we have the most hardworking students. I really feel that NSYSU students are extremely hardworking. Even though we may not yet be number one, we are constantly striving towards being number one. I really like the campus because we have like the mountain here, and it looks kind of like a jungle. And also we have the beach, so it's it's. I really like the campus and. The, the facilities we have, like the sports complex. Uh, I was uh, really shocked in the beginning because uh, people act so naturally, they smile all the time and they are so nice and uh, all the time when I need any kind of help, they were so open and they were really trying to make uh, myself comfortable. After I met the family and so many Taiwanese people who are really friendly, so it was my best impression in Taiwan. Most of my classmates from senior high school would rather stay up north than come down here to the south. I, however, thought that this was a great opportunity because if you always stay up north, then your field of vision stays up north too. But if you have the chance to come down south to study, then you'll see and get to know a different group of people. What's more important is that they recognize people. They can tell good people from bad. They learn by watching. If you watch the monkeys for a while, like this small one here, look, he stays close to his mother and doesn't stray from her. There are 22 species of macaque monkey. Only the macaque monkeys here in Taiwan are very peaceful. If you get tired of studying, there are things you can do close to school, like going to Chijin Island or climbing the mountains to mix with the monkeys. The environment is really superb. It just depends on whether students want to go and experience that environment. And I think that the library is another thing that our school should be proud of. Our library boasts an extremely large collection of books and information, and the retrieval system is also very easy to use. Professor Yu Kuang Chong is the most precious treasure of NSYSU. Today, we are very honored to see many of his books being displayed here. Through this exhibition, we see not only his magnificent work, but also the life that Professor Yu has shared with and dedicated to this university. I always say that NSYSU should maintain a balance between humanities and technology. Therefore, we will definitely need to find the best place to display these wonderful works of art so that all faculty members and students can appreciate them. If you really want to go in deep, want to research in great depth, then you really need to, really need to remain calm and not be distracted by the external world. And that's where I feel that NSYSU really is number one. In the future, we hope to nurture more of society's leaders leading entrepreneurs, leading politicians, and leading scholars. This will greatly assist the development of our school as a whole, and also the future development of our students. I already have, let's say, a deep love for this place. I really hope other people can come to NSYSU to experience this lifestyle. Four years here will really change them completely. I thought that anywhere outside of Taipei was called down south. But since coming down here, I found that that's not the case at all. And we are too used to viewing Taiwan from the perspective of Taipei. Actually, viewing Taiwan with a southern perspective can actually give you a much clearer picture. It's like getting together with your friends from all over the world or all over Taiwan. The most important thing is, I reckon, the feeling of getting along with other people. 
Let us now welcome the president of NSYSU, Dr. Hung Duen Yang, to come on stage and beat the drum for the opening. Through our plan for excellence in teaching and excellence in research, we hope to nurture students in three areas of competitiveness. One, we hope students will have professional knowledge and a long-lasting ability to learn, which will increase competitiveness in the workplace. Two, we hope they will have a humanitarian broad-mindedness, allowing them to be well-rounded citizens. Three, we hope they will have a wide-ranging creativity and an international vision. Kaohsiung is no longer just the southern tip of Taiwan, it's another center. If NSYSU and the city of Kaohsiung are to be synonymous with each other, then I think that will be even better. Even though our campus has its back to the city of Kaohsiung, we are facing the ocean. And facing the ocean means that we are facing the whole world. We can therefore say that in this respect, we already have, let's say, a globalized outlook. 